you invested $5,000 for 10 years at 6% annual compound interest, how much money did you earn? And the key phrase in this problem is this right here, compound interest. This is one of the most critical concepts that you have to understand, especially if you intend to invest. And to paraphrase Albert Einstein, I don't have the exact quote, but I believe he said something to the fact that the most powerful force in the universe is compound interest because compound interest goes to a concept in mathematics called exponential growth. Okay, this is an exponential growth function. And if you understand this, we'll go ahead and give this problem a try. Go to put your answer into the comment section. A couple things here. You're going to need a calculator, and you're going to need the correct formula for compound interest. Probably uh, most of you out there may or may not uh, remember the formula. You may not even know it. So if you want to look it up and try to figure this problem out, go ahead and do so. Just be careful because there is a few different formulas for compound interest, and I'll talk a little bit more about that in a second. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, well, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the answer to this problem. So if you invested $5,000 for 10 years at 6% annual compound interest, how much money did you earn on that investment? Well, here is the answer. So our $5,000 grew into $8,954.23. So that means you've made $3,954.23. So uh, you got to be careful on your answers if you're saying how much did you uh, make well you made this amount okay this is your total account balance but remember you started with your own money of five thousand dollars so you made three thousand nine hundred fifty four dollars and twenty three cents so your account balance would be eight thousand nine hundred fifty four dollars and twenty three cents so we got to be careful with what the correct uh, uh, question is asking but uh, if you gave me this answer um, I would go ahead and still give you a nice happy face and A plus, a 100% and multiple stars to celebrate your success in understanding compound interest. So again, um, as Albert Einstein was talking about uh, some maybe 100 plus years ago, uh, you know, he knew back then that exponential growth is tremendously important. So Compound interest is what we call exponential growth. Let me just kind of talk about this real, real quick, not to get overly technical here, but ex there's basically this two concepts, something called exponential growth and decay. But exponential growth is something that looks like this, graphically speaking. It kind of starts off, some, you know, you have something that's kind of growing slowly, slowly, but over time it starts picking up momentum and it starts kind of shooting up this way. So this is what could happen in your investments. And you, all of us have heard this. Hey, if you put in like 100 bucks a month into your IRA or 401k, if you do this for you know years and years and years and years, it starts to really build up momentum. Well, what we're talking about is exponential growth or compound interest, and it is true. All you know, this of course is assuming that you're getting a consistent um, you know growth rate, a certain percentage and this is the kind of tricky part when you invest but if you do have a consistent um, growth percentage what ha ends up happening is over the years you know you're, you're kind of making a little bit of money and as you can kind of you know as time goes on it starts to really pick up pace so this kind of explosion in growth this is what we call exponential growth and that's what compound interest is now this is a much bigger topic uh, in mathematics, exponential growth and decay, which of course compound interest is a part of that. But I just want to make sure you understand why compound interest is so powerful. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the specifics of this problem. So again, we have to talk about compound interest and we need a formula. Okay, so there are different formulas, a few different uh, variations of, of uh, formulas for compound interest. There's something called continuous compound interest. We're not talking about that. We're talking about compound interest in uh, its annual compound interest. And there's uh, compound interest that can be um, uh, 
uh, you know, quarterly or biannually. And those are for additional prompts. So this is kind of a basic introduction prompt. So here is the nice, lovely formula that we need to know for annual compound interest. So it's this. A is equal to P times 1 plus R, all that to the T power. So let's go ahead and talk about what these variables mean. And so A is your total amount of what you're going to make in your investment. Okay. So we're going to need to invest some money, and that money is what we call a principal amount. Okay, so this is in this particular problem, it's five thousand dollars. That's what we invested was five thousand dollars. It's our initial amount that we're going to invest. Uh, so that would be our principal amount. That's what P is. So we have parentheses one plus R. Now R is the interest rate. Okay, in this particular problem, it's six percent. It's the it's the rate of uh, compound interest, and we're going to represent that as a decimal. Okay, so that's what R is. And then T is the number of years our investment is going to grow. Okay, so if you kind of understand this, you're like, all right, you could kind of, you know, think about, you know, uh, this formula. Uh, this is not that difficult. If you're like, if you want to write this down and give this problem another try, let me show you the problem here. Go ahead and pause the video and see if you could do this. If you have a calculator, just be careful with the math because, you know, it's easy to make a mistake. I'll show you um, a common place where students make an error. But, you know, give this a problem. Give this a try. If you think you can, if you're like far enough into this video and you're like, oh, I get it. I get this now, then you should stop and see if you can do it. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into the actual solution right now. All right, so here's the problem. You invested $5,000 for 10 years at 6% annual compound interest. So we got to make sure we understand what is the principal, what is the rate, what is the time. So the principal amount is what you invest, right? So you invested $5,000. So P is going to be $5,000. So our rate is going to be 6%. And that's our compound interest rate, okay? Our rate of growth. So that's what R is going to be. So R is going to be uh, 6%. We're go, but we're going to express this percent as a decimal. So how do you change a uh, 6% to a decimal? Easy. You simply divide by 100, or you move that decimal point over two places to the left. So 6% is 0 0.06. So we're going to need the 0 0.06, not the 6%. And then the time is what? 10 years. So that's what T is going to be, 10 years. And what we're looking to, uh, uh, you know, answer is how much did this investment grow? So that'll be our total amount A. Okay, so let's just go ahead and plug this stuff in to the formula, and we'll get the right answer. Okay, so P, again, is going to be 5,000. That's going to be our principal amount. So 1 plus R, R is our growth rate, our uh, compound interest rate as a decimal. So 6% as a decimal is 0.06, and T is 10 years and we have a 10 right there. Okay, so you gotta be very careful here. You gotta figure out what the order of operations is. So let's go ahead and do what's inside parentheses first. So one, point, one plus 0 0.06 is 1.06 and that's gonna be to the 10th power. Now here is where a lot of students, they do this part right, they get everything right, but I've seen this time and time again from like great math students in Algebra 2, College Algebra, even pre-calculus, they kind of lose their mind. Maybe their uh, cell phone, they get a text notification, or maybe their good friend next to them says, hey, what's going on? They get distracted, just like driving a car, and they stop thinking for a second. And what they'll do is they'll, t they'll take this 5,000 and they'll multiply by 1.06. Okay, I know they know better, but just to make sure you understand, this is multiplication. This is powers, okay? So when we're talking about the order of operations, right? We did what's inside parentheses first. You got to do exponents or powers next. So you got to take 1.06 to the 10th power. You got to do that before multiplication and division. But, you know, as a teacher, you see some crazy stuff over the years. You know, again, I've been teaching math for not years, but decades, okay? So that means I probably looked at maybe 100 million different homework quizzes, maybe not that many, but you get the idea a lot, okay? So you just see these trends even with excellent students. So just, you know, when you're doing any math problem, you got to remain highly focused until you get the final answer, right? So anyways, we got to figure out what 1.06 to the 10th power is on our calculator. So you just go 1.06, use that caret function, um, most of your calculators to the 10th power. And when you do that, you'll get 1.79. 
Okay, and notice how I'm showing all my work like this. This is what you need to be doing as well. Now we can take that 5,000 and multiply by 1.79, and you'll get this answer, 8,954.23. That is the correct answer. We are talking about dollars. So this is how much this $5,000 grew over 10 years at 6% annual compound interest. It grew into $8,154.23. And of course, you could just take the difference of the $5,000 and this amount, and that's how much you actually made on your investment. Okay, so again, compound interest just like super, super important. I can't overstate the importance of it and the importance of exponential growth. And again, there's different formulas for compound interest. And as you learn a more advanced mathematics, especially things like um, logarithms, uh, natural logarithms, exponential functions, you learn a little bit more advanced mathematics, you'll do a little bit more sophisticated compound interest problems. But this is a nice, uh, hopefully, basic prompt for all of you out there. Now, if you want to learn more about compound interest, uh, a couple of different courses that you can consider uh, that are in my math help program. I teach us at a basic level, pretty decent level in Algebra 1, but you're going to uh, want to check out like my Algebra 2 or pre-calculus course or college algebra course for more advanced compound interest problems because as, um, as I did say, you'll need to under, um, understand logarithms, okay? And this is a whole another topic. But anyways, if you're at that level, those are the courses. And I do I think, I'm almost positive I have additional videos on my YouTube channel as well about exponential growth and compound interest. But if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.